Hey, it's Joe Tamargo from WetHeadPumpRepair.com. All right, we're back with Joseph Jr. and a special episode where he'll be repairing a Hayward Super Pump. All right, so this is part four. Uh, we showed you how to take off the stationary switch, remove the cap hazard and back cover. Now, what Joseph Jr. is going to be showing you now with a ratchet is how to separate the wet end from the motor section of the pump. All right, go ahead, Joseph Jr. He's using a, a socket. You could either use a 9 16 or a 14 millimeter and he's going to loosen the bolts to the left. Okay, so there you go. That's tightening. You want to go to the left. So you want to just reverse the socket. If you're going the wrong way, sometimes, right, you push that little lever. Show him, right, push that little lever just like that. There you go. And now you're just going to loosen this up. Correct. There you go. So if you've never used tools before, just like Joseph, you know, Joseph's used them sometimes, but if you're someone who has a homeowner, there's no reason to be embarrassed. You know, like you probably think like, oh, I wish I could use tools. I'm not good at that. Hey, nobody's good at it. You know, even Alex Rodriguez, shut up, wasn't good at baseball. You know, someone had to teach him to pitch. You know what I mean? And that's what it is. So there you go. Learn from Joseph. All right. So that is bolt number one, my good sir. All right. So there you go. Now we have a bolt on the bottom there. As you can see, he's going to take out. And then we have two on this side as well. Okay. So you want to remove all four of these bolts. And once you remove all four of these bolts, you'll be able to separate the wet end from the pump housing. And then you'll be able to see the diffuser and the impeller. Okay. So just like Joseph did right there, after you could get the bolts for a few, uh, spin a few times, you might want to use your hands to loosen the bolt up there, whatever it takes, you know. We're shooting these videos live. Uh, we're very happy that Joseph has joined us today to show us how easy it is to remove a Hayward super pump and rebuild it. Okay, there he goes. He's taking that bolt out. Now, sometimes the bolts give you a little bit of a hassle, right? And But you just have to take your time just as he's doing. All right, remember, all parts are available at wetheadpumprepair.com. All right, great job. He's getting out that second bolt, and we're going to close this video now. So just do this other thing on the same side, and we're going to come back in the next video, and then we're going to show you how to remove the, the wet end from the ends, uh, from the pump ends. All right, all parts are available. Thank you, Joseph Jr., for uh, doing the video for us. That is how you remove the bolts. He's just about got that last bolt out in perfect timing. Here we go. We're just going to watch and take this last bolt out, and bam, nice job. That is how you remove the bolts on the Hayward 2 pump. Take it easy, and we'll see you next videos. Peace.